Hi everyone. Welcome to another practical chess position from Mark Dvoretsky. Uh, these are not the people playing the game, so let me change their names real quick. Reshevsky is white and Kashdan is black. And this is a match they were playing in 1942. So black to move here. Well, what do we think about? Well, as always, pause your video, try to find the solution on your own, and then you know unpause it, and we'll both try to solve it together. What is happening here? Well, white's not castled yet. Always important to recognize when that's the case. Um, the queen's like a little, a little off sides. The black, the bishop on c eight's a little, I don't know, not ideal. But what's what's happening? Like like white can castle. I don't see how we're gonna stop that from happening. The bishop though on d seven is, is tough to develop. I guess we could just go to d7, though. It doesn't seem like the end of the world. Hmm. Well, let's see. Bishop d7, e4, knight f6. I'm trying to see if we lose anything. You can go e5, we can go back to d5. We probably don't lose any material on bishop to d7. Another possible move is just b6. Makes sense to me. Hmm. Yeah, I, I see no way to stop castling from happening. It just doesn't seem doesn't seem possible. Hmm. What to do? A five make any sense? I don't think so. <laughs> uh Bishop d7, knight e5 is annoying. Although we do have bishop to a4 then. So maybe it's okay. I don't know, somehow b6 though, and like, like bishop a6. I mean, this bishop is a little clunky, but b6. Can he even castle? And then pawn takes pawn, rook a1, queen b3. That looks okay, we get our queen out. Get our queen out to safety. I don't know what the point is here. What are they trying to, to, to get us to find? I mean, if b6, c6, is that annoying or not? It's, it's hard for me to tell. It could become weak, like b6, c6, bishop a6. Let's say he castles, for example, and we take his bishop, we go rook a to c8, he goes rook c1. I don't know, I mean, the pawn feels like it might get weak over there. I'm hungry, by the way. <laughs> I thought you guys should know that. What would I do in a game? It's a choice, for me, it's a choice between bishop d7 and b6. I'm having trouble figuring out which one I like. Bishop d7 castles. Looks like the right thing to do. But I don't know, rook f to d8 there? I mean, it doesn't seem so bad to me. Oh, hold on. No, that doesn't work. Um, I'm going to show a move. Like, like, it's kind of slightly irritating. And the only move is bishop to b3. And you know, maybe this is just fine. Um, I don't see any anything horribly wrong here, but it's just like a little a little sketchy. Hmm. Let me just think for one more second. Maybe I'm not like considering all the possible moves. I mean, kind of b6 still feels feels like he's not going to be able to maintain a pawn on c6. It's just my. It just doesn't feel like he should be able to. Let's just look. Is there any moves I didn't consider that are important to consider? Like knight f6 with the idea of knight e4. I don't know. I think he would just castle then. It doesn't seem so amazing. 
Alright, I'm just gonna give, um, oh, excuse me. Excuse me for yawning. I think I'm just gonna give, um, B6 a shot here. What the hell? Yay, correct solution. It says it is necessary to exchange white's strong C pawn. It says a bishop here castles is better for white. Um, I, I guess, yeah, I don't know why. Let me see what Houdini says. Houdini's confused too. Oh, but Houdini likes bishop d, bishop d, it likes b6 also. It thinks after bishop d7 castles with ideas of knight e5 that white simply has some advantage here. But after b6, it thinks the position is just even. Uh, and it says if, if b6, c6, sorry, not in this position. If b6, c6, bishop a6. Oh, you know, I missed something, actually. Take knight c3. But it says knight d4 only leads to equality, um, which seems logis logical to me. I mean, the c-pawn is just kind of cut off from his pieces. So, after take, take, well, okay, now it's just even. This is pretty obvious. So, yeah, just somehow if we go bishop d7 and he castles, he's getting, like, a huge initiative against us, and somehow the c5 pawn is troublesome. Like, Houdini gives a move queen a4, and then it likes, it likes a lot of things, but knight e5 is one of them. Um, rook f to d8. This is even knight c4 with ideas of maybe knight, knight, knight d6. I mean, it definitely thinks white is better. Houdini is like plus 0.4 for white. So, but after b6, uh, you know, the game kind of simplifies. So that's the answer, guys. I was right. But it wasn't so obvious to me. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And I will see you tomorrow with another practical chess position. Bye-bye.